I gonna start this? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I wanted to be able to tell you this story. We were talking about modesty toupees, modesty ponchos today around prom, and it just reminded me when I never got invited to prom. <laughs> True story. So I invited the guy, there we go. I invited him and his name was Derek, and I styled my own dress. I kind of thought of myself as a little bit of a fashionista. It's long gone. Anyway, it's like I went to the fabric store, I got the fabric, and then I like picked out the pattern, and it was gonna be totally hot, okay? You can imagine. I also worked at a salon at the time. So I was like, oh, could you just do some like messy buns back here? And my piece de la resistance was a feather boa. And so I had black hair at the time. You can imagine how awesome I looked. But we cut up that feather boa. <laughs> I'm kind of getting lightheaded. I'm going to be real honest with you. <laughs> Woo! So we cut up the feather boa, and then they were like doing this messy braid. So I arrived at the dance. I go on the dance floor. I go hard, okay? And when you go hard, it's all out getting sweaty. I'm getting lightheaded. <laughs> That feather boa that I was wearing, I kept throwing it out of the way because it was getting in my jams. You know what I'm saying? So. <clears throat> The moment arrives, my song comes on. I literally, I'm so cocky. I push everybody out of the way and I stand in the middle of the circle and it's like, YMCA. And my friends go, <gasps> no. Because that blessed feather boa had fallen apart all in my armpits. It was a black Amazonian jungle in there. It was devastating. That was my prom, quasi-prom, not even prom memory. It was devastating, and now I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> Juice to finish the story. <laughs>